everybody. So we are going to be comparing two different boxes today. It's going to be really fun. And they are both geek gear, gamer gear, those kinds of boxes. One is Nerd Block that we review most months here on this channel. And a brand new one called the Power Up Box. Really good boxes. And I'll be interested to know which one you think is the better box. And I'll give you my opinion as well. So let's start with the new one. And the new box, like I said, is called the Power Up Box. And it is, they have two different ones. They have one that's $17 and they have a premium box that is $29. And this is the premium box. So it's a lot more than the Nerd uh, nerd Block, which we'll be looking at in a bit, that's $17. So let's check it out. A lot of Funko items in this box, which is cool. So this is a Funko Raphael TMNT uh, keychain, which I think is really cute. I'm probably going to use that. They have some Spider-Man lollipop rings with little Spider-Man heads on them. So that's kind of cute. Then we have a Funko vinyl Marvel figure. And it is a bobblehead figure, which is cute. And I got the Silver Surfer. And the box is called a Fabrications. This is from Funko, and we have Harley Quinn, and I think that's pretty cute. I'm not as big a DC fan as I am a Marvel fan. Uh, they're just, I think the Marvel's usually more upbeat, it's more positive, it's not as gloomy, so that's why I like it better. But, <laughs> I, it's not like I hate, hate uh, DC, because I think this shirt is pretty cool. It's a very nice high quality shirt it's the the graphic is very well done so this is a shirt that'll last you a while and obviously it is pretty pretty cool they have a bunch of different little power-up memorabilia swag there's a bag there's a lanyard and a little pin probably just because this is the first time and you don't have to subscribe to power up which it might be kind of nice if you're looking for a gift you just go to the gift section and you can just order uh, one box, which is nice. And then last, we have a comic book. This is Batman Arkham Knight. This looks pretty cool. So I think it's a pretty strong box, but let's see how it compares to the Nerd Block, which like I said is less expensive. Okay, the Nerd Block this month is more quality over quantity, which I'm always a fan of in boxes. I'd rather have a couple really good things than a bunch of junk. So the t-shirt this month, because there's also Loot Crate, that's the other big one in this genre of boxes. And I wish I had one to review along with, that would be really good. The, the Loot Crate is the, le the least expensive, it's only $13. Loot Crate, sometimes they have a shirt, sometimes they don't have a shirt. So that's kind of the big difference. But this is the shirt for this month's uh, Nerd Block. And it's like a Fast and the Furious kind of, but with the DeLorean, which is cool. Titans vinyl figures. This is a, this is the Ghostbusters car, which is super cool. Definitely like that. Then we have a mug. It's a Pac-Man mug. And the, the characters and the lines and stuff come on when you have hot liquid in the cup, which is super cool. I've never heard of that. And then the last item we have Kevin Smith's book. And there are some uh, little cosplay uh, cards. So that is the Nerd Block. So let's compare. For the Nerd Block, we have the DeLorean t shirt, we have the book, we have the Ghostbusters figure, and and we have the mug, $17. For Power Up, we have the Batman t-shirt. We have the comic book. We've got the stuffed figure, 
the bobblehead, the swag there, the lollipops, and the keychain. So this one is $29. So I don't know. I don't really think this is $12 better than the Nerd Block. So I think the Nerd Block is still the best one out of all these boxes. But let me know what you think. Uh, if you like which one you like better, I would love to hear in the comments section. And if any of you subscribe to either of these boxes, let me know your experience and what you what you look or if you prefer Loot Crate. Put it in the comments section. Let me know. And I hope you're all having a great day. And I hope you're getting excited for the Avengers movie. I'm going to go see it on Thursday, so I'll have a review. Should up, I should have a review up on Friday morning, so that should be exciting. So, thanks so much, and I hope you're having a great day. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, and thanks.